Talking about the Gulf Coast, uh, June 1st is the start of hurricane season at the Atlantic. Mm. And typically we see the hurricanes or hurricane development initially in the Gulf of Mexico, and then it shifts focus later in the season to the East Coast. Mm. So, of course, that'll be something that we'll be watching. But we don't have to worry about that on our part of uh, the country because, well, the Pacific Ocean is way too cool in the, along the Pacific Northwest uh, to support any kind of tropical development. You need sea surface temperatures to be at about 80 degrees or greater uh, for a tropical storm or a hurricane to develop. So uh, we're in good shape. We'll probably remain in good shape all summer long. This is a live look from Lincoln City in the Chinook Winds Beach camera. Beautiful morning along that part of the coast. You can see the marine layer way off in the distance offshore. Up to the north, we're seeing that marine layer uh, kind of draped over the northern Oregon and southern Washington coast. Let's talk about conditions inland. This is how the month has played out so far in Portland, the month of May. We started off with some cool and wet conditions, but since about May 8th, we've seen some warm, at times hot afternoons with highs in the 70s, 80s, and at times 90s. Uh, so when you average the highs and lows together, we're running about one and a half to two degrees above normal uh, for a typical May. But we are anticipating a cool down late this week heading into the weekend. And right now, things are pretty cool here in the Northwest. Temperatures are in the 40s and low 50s along the coast. We have similar temperatures being observed along the I-5 corridor, upper 30s at government camp. And temperatures are in about uh, the low 40s in parts of central and eastern Oregon. So along the coast, because we're going to have an onshore breeze coming off the Pacific Ocean, that will keep temperatures on the mild side of things this afternoon with highs in the low to mid-60s. It is going to be pretty blustery toward the end of the day with gusts around 30 miles per hour. Inland will also have a breeze kicking in later this afternoon, but those temperatures should rise into the low to mid-70s once again, maybe the upper 70s in the central Willamette Valley. Highs should climb into the mid-70s to low 80s in the gorge with patchy morning clouds on the west end. The Mount Hood area is looking at a mostly sunny day with highs in the 50s and 60s depending on your elevation. In central and eastern Oregon expect a mostly sunny day with temperatures rising into the 70s to low 80s. Tomorrow's going to be a touch warmer than today because a ridge of high pressure is going to expand a bit over the west coast but then it'll back off late in the week opening the door to more clouds maybe some spots of drizzle and those temperatures are going to trend from the 70s back down into the 60s. Tony.